Is there one corporate issue or problem that seems to stand out, keep happening, or, or that you've been able to successfully deal with or confront? It has to be litigation. People suing people. People, shareholders suing companies, pretty much. At NACD, from the very beginning, and I was around really in the late 70s when it was starting, I got involved in the early 80s, mid 80s, when it was starting to launch. The whole purpose of the National Association of Corporate Directors was to prepare directors to really fight two battles. One would be over-regulation from the federal government that was what we predicted was coming. We didn't know how long it would take. It took all the way till 2000 and and, and two with Sarbanes-Oxley, but also shareholder litigation. How can we train directors to act the right way, do the right things, say the right things, so they won't be overregulated and so they won't be sued? So I was on the defense side for, for 40 years. I had no sympathy or empathy for those litigants, if you will, or even for regulators. Now that I'm an entrepreneur, I, I, I'm starting to see both sides, and I see that 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 litigation, because we can't, at, at Capital Expert Services, we can't say we will only provide experts to the, to the defense side. We will not provide experts to, to the plaintiff side. We've got to really play both sides. But then we, we say, is, is it a worthy cause? Is, is there justice in this? Or is this just a nuisance lawsuit? So we- So you pick and choose. We pick and choose. Mm -hmm. And so, but I would say litigation is the most important. And that's why I keep praising attorneys. They can help you modulate your speech so that you are, less vulnerable to litigation. Even now as I speak, I'm thinking, am I going to be vulnerable to litigation? So I'm going to modulate my speech. And it can be done without suppressing spontaneity. <laughs>